Well, Doug, this is an honor talking to you up here now. <laughs> About three weeks ago, uh, I heard Doug was going to leave us. So we're sitting in a coffee break, and I said to the Wednesday volunteers, uh, did you hear about Doug going to leave us? Didn't hear a word. Nobody said anything. I said, I said, did you hear that Doug is going to leave us? And for a minute, I thought I was conducting the Vienna Boys Choir because all at once they all said, good riddance. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doug, it's not good riddance. It's good luck to you, and thanks for all the help and the training you've done for us over the years. We certainly appreciated it. About three or four months ago, uh, Doug was being selected for some community service award, and, and Lou asked me to... Uh, jot down a few words about Doug, so I submitted this to him, and I think I'm going to read, read you this uh, thing that I wrote, and I think that all of you and all the 200 and some people that have their homes will agree with it. I can get it open. <laughs> it's titled About Doug McLean. I have worked for several thousands of people during my career, and I placed Doug McLean in my people category as the best of the best. Doug is very knowledgeable, has a great personality, and the leadership ability to get the job done. What impresses me most about Doug is that he has established very high quality standards for himself. And he makes certain that the people he directs meet those standards. Doug makes sure you do the job right the first time every time. You never hear him say that's close enough, only in Louisiana, right? <laughs> <laughs> I strongly believe that actual habitat for humanity can contribute much of their success in the past to Doug's leadership in directing his staff and the volunteers while building quality homes in the Asheville area. Doug is to be graduated for that. Yeah. And what you can take this and put it with your resume. <laughs> <laughs> when, you're, when you're looking to come back here, you can put that with it. Next year. <laughs> We're certainly going to miss Doug. We're going to miss him, especially in the summertime. Because when he walks around with his shorts, he looks down, and there's all those band-aids and scabs and scars on his legs. But then again, we may not miss him because we got always oh, got Dick Allen. We can look at his legs. <laughs> what we'll miss is Doug coming to the site and walking over and watching this guy's work, and he'll say, well, boys, Looks like you're doing a pretty good job, except we need to correct this over here. And I'm going to miss, personally, every time I say Doug on the job site, he comes with says, Bob A., what are you up to today? And I'll say nothing. And he'll respond, that makes two of us. <laughs> Doug... It's been wonderful working with you for the last uh, 12 years, but we want you to leave here with a clear conscience. <laughs> I don't think you'll sleep very good tonight. Well, anyway, the Wednesday crew has gotten you a, a gift certificate at Lowell's, but what you have to do is go out to your white truck, get that box of 16s, Take them and put them back in the trailer, then take this gift certificate to Wolves and buy your own damn nails. 